Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me once again. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to have a chat about the New Zealand squad for the upcoming T20I series in Pakistan. So, the moment Pakistan are at their training camp, I'm sure we've seen all the videos and the pictures of them. Um, I wouldn't say enjoying themselves at the uh, army training camp, but um, yeah, they're out there doing some exercises, some fitness drills, some team bonding as well. And uh, there's also been a visit from the Pakistan Cricket Board chairman. Obviously, a lot of uh, rumours about what's happening regarding Shaheen's unhappiness. Um, but the chairman just went out there, he says, to um, to make the players feel a little bit better about themselves and to thank the army trainers for doing their work with the Pakistan players. Only time will tell how beneficial this um, training has been. To me, it looks a little bit like overkill. Do they really need to be jumping up on those walls and jumping back down and all those exercises and all those um, sprints? Let's wait and see. As I say, Time will tell. In my opinion, I don't think, especially the players who are probably not 100% fit, the likes of Nassim Shah, etc., who are injury-prone, do they really need to be doing all those exercises out there? I don't know. Um, so, New Zealand announced their squad, and it was an interesting squad, to say the least. A disappointing squad for Pakistani cricket lovers, no doubt. Um, it's a five-match series, obviously, as I said before, in Pakistan. Some of the players that are missing are Matt Henry, Trent Bolt, Devin Conway, Lockie Ferguson. Um, you've got Phillips, Mitchell, Ravindra, Santner, Kane Williamson, all because of the IPL. The Indian Premier League, which um, is throwing a lot of money at cricketers, will come to um, discussions about you know what options the New Zealand players have regarding this in due course but just to complete the list of players missing Will Young isn't going to Pakistan as well he's got a contract with Nottinghamshire um, Latham who's expecting his second child shortly Southie who's being rested and uh, Colin Munro he's un unavailable as well even though he's just played in Pakistan in the Pakistan Super League New Zealand cricket didn't disclose why Colin Munro is not available. To me, somebody who's playing in the PSL, who's been to Pakistan, surely he'd want to go back out there with his country and uh, show people what he can do for his country as well as in the PSL. Um, can't blame the players, really, can you? Let's be honest about it. Uh, the money that's being thrown at some of the players from the Indian Premier League owners, the franchises, is absolutely incredible sums of money. Who would want to turn that down? I think only the die-hard patriotic players who put country before their own finances, their own family, and uh, the opportunity to play in the IPL would um, grab those chances to, to go and play for New Zealand and Pakistan. Obviously, the players who haven't got contracts who don't want to be rested, they're in the squad, number of new players. Um... It's an opportunity for the New Zealand players. Some of the guys who've not been picked before, they'll see it as a chance to um, to show others what they can do. Remember when uh, Ravindra went to Pakistan as a uh, a backup player of sorts, and uh, he showed the world what he could do. What a fantastic um, cricketer he is! And uh, look at him now; he's playing in the IPL. Financially, New Zealand cricket cannot compete with the IPL. That is the bottom line. The money that these guys are throwing at cricketers, the top cricketers, the boards just cannot compete with them. When I say boards, there's only three boards who can actually uh, stop the players from playing in such tournaments. Obviously, you've got the BCCI, who their players are naturally going to be playing in the IPL. Cricket Australia, if they really wanted to rest a player, tell a player that... Um, He's not to play in the IPL due to fitness concerns or other issues, workload issues. Then Cricket Australia have the financial clout to do that. The ECB also have the financial clout to stop players from playing in the IPL. Um, but very few occasions will the ECB and Cricket Australia actually stop those guys 
from earning huge sums. Financially, ECB, Cricket Australia can stop their players because they're on fantastic retainers, they're on good contracts, and they're paid handsomely by Cricket Australia and the England and Wales Cricket Board. The likes of the PCB, New Zealand Cricket, Cricket West, End, Cricket West Indies, the BCB, and various other cricket boards, Cricket South Africa, for example, they just cannot compete with the likes of BCCI, ECB, and Cricket Australia. So what you get then is that um, if um, these players want to play in the IPL, who belong to those countries, obviously it doesn't affect the Pakistani players because um, they're not allowed to play in the IPL, of course. But any of the other boards that I've mentioned, um, if their players want to play in the IPL, then it's in virtually impossible for these boards to stop their players from going partaking in that tournament because, as I say, it's all about the money. And, um, you know, when uh, m money talks, player walks. So you know, they, they just cannot, as I say, stop these players from playing in those tournaments like the IPL because they are going to turn around and say to the cricket boards, well, stick your um, central contracts where the sun doesn't shine. I'll become a free agent. I'll, um, I don't want a central contract. I don't want to play for my country. You know, if you want to pick me for um, international cricket, fair enough. But my priority is going to be franchise cricket. And we're seeing that more and more these days. And it becomes a club versus country scenario, doesn't it? Where um, these players are saying to their boards, well, you, you either pay me the amounts that the IPL franchises are paying or let me play in these tournaments. And you know what the answer is going to be. And this is what's happened with New Zealand cricket now. Um. The priority for many players now is franchise cricket. Yes, they play international cricket, but if um, those opportunities come to them, if those opportunities are presented to these players, then they're going to take them. And you can't blame them, can you? You know, in that situation, I think 99.9% .9 of people out there, the likes of yourselves watching this video, if that opportunity came where you are being paid absolutely crazy money to play cricket, in a T20 tournament for a few weeks, um, you're going to take that because it's life-changing amounts of money. You play in the IPL a couple of seasons, even one season, and um, it turns your life around, doesn't it? Um, New Zealand cricket obviously have sent second string, third string squad. And uh, it's no surprise, really. It's, as I say, very disappointing for Pakistani cricket lovers. They would have loved to have seen the likes of Trent Bolt and Kane Williamson and... Rocky Ferguson, Devon Conway, these fantastic cricketers with a lot of talent in Pakistan for this series. But what, they're going, what they are going to see is um, a second string and third string team. It's very disappointing, I think, uh, for the Pakistan Cricket Board as well. I'm sure the crowds will be decent. Pakistani cricket lovers will support the series, but um, it's a missed opportunity for them. As I said, they want to see New Zealand's finest cricketers and um, they're not going to get that chance. Priority for players, as I've mentioned before, you know, these days it's money. Money talks. And um, when these opportunities come, they're not going to come all the time. When you're at the peak of your game, at the peak of your powers as a cricketer, you might get a season or two. You might get, if you're lucky, three, four seasons in the IPL. So you've got to make the most of it. I don't begrudge the cricketers for taking these opportunities um, for playing in the IPL and various other T20 franchises. But I think it's got to be a wake-up call for the ICC and the world of cricket that um, is being dominated by two, three boards, well, three boards specifically, mainly the BCCI. And uh, this is going to have a negative impact on the world of cricket because many players are going to prioritise tournaments like the IPL and not play international cricket. And who loses out? It's the fans because they're being deprived of the opportunity of seeing the best players. It's the people in the stadiums who are going to watch the best players and um, they're not going to see those great cr cricketers. And um, you know, the, the likes of the Pakistan Cricket Board, as I said, they will be disappointed that uh, New Zealand are not sending their strongest side. I think PCB were, were already aware of that. But uh, I think PCB need to wake up 
smell the coffee when they're going out to New Zealand? Do they need to send a full strength squad every tournament, every series? Maybe not. Maybe they should utilize those opportunities for T20 I matches or the I matches, maybe to send uh, some reserve players and give those players an opportunity. So, um, you know, return the favor, maybe. But as I say, I don't blame New Zealand cricket one bit. They have not got the money to compete with the likes of the IPL. And um, I've mentioned the other boards as well. They just cannot um, challenge the likes of the IPL in the amounts that they are paying these players. Um, as I say, the BCCI, ECB, Cricket Australia are the ones who can stop their players from playing in other T20 tournaments because they've got the money. And um, the other boards just simply cannot challenge their cricketers and say to them that, look, um, don't um, earn those millions that you're being offered at the IPL. Instead, um, you know, take our contract and uh, we'll pay you a fraction of those amounts. Just doesn't make any sense. If you're, um, you know, work for, you, you work in um, uh, a, a profession where you're being paid millions a year compared to thousands a year and you're doing the same job, you're going to accept the millions, aren't you? Unless there's a very good reason. Um, you know, 99.9%, .9%, as I said before, of people are going to accept the uh, the greater money. And um, I think, as I said, the PCB and other boards really need to look at this situation. And New, New Zealand cricket aren't the only board that are going to fa face this reality, face this situation where their players are going to say, well, I'm going, to, I'm going to play the IPL. I'm not going to play for a country. I think gone are the days where playing for your country was the number one option. Gone are those days where you know, playing for your country was the, the badge of honour. It was the number one choice for every single cricketer. Unfortunately, now, um, I think a number of cricketers are looking at these franchise opportunities and saying, well, that's my number one priority. So... It's T20 leagues before country now, and that is very dangerous for the world of cricket. Thank you very much for watching. Regardless of the fact that New Zealand is sending a second stroke, third string side, I think it'll be a good competitive series, and um, it's one that I'm certainly looking forward to. Thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks.